Welcome back to the image processing series. Today we're going to be talking about something called steganography. So what is steganography? Basically, it's the practice of hiding a file inside of another file. So in our case, a message inside of an image. And just to give you an idea of what that's going to look like, I have two images here. The one on the right containing a secret message hidden in the pixels of the image, and the one on the left is the original. Now, as you can see, they're pretty much exactly identical. Um, there's no way to tell just by looking at it. Even if you zoom in at the individual pixels, it's very hard to tell. So let's just get right into making it. We're going to start off with a function that we can use to encode our message that's going to take a string, and another function to decode a message from the file that's going to take a buffer, and we're also going to be able to uh, give the user the size of the message back. So we'll have a, a pointer to a size variable. Let's go ahead and start making these functions. Just get them nice and set up over here in our CPP file. All right, fix that tabbing. Perfect. Let's go ahead and start with encode message. The first thing we want to do is we want to know how long our message is so that we can tell the decode function exactly how many bytes to read. Basically what we're doing is creating a sort of header where the first four bytes of our message are the length of the message. So what we're going to do is create a uint32 that's going to store this, this string length of our message. And we're going to multiply that number by 8. Uh, right here I put size of char. That is actually not correct. I'm going to go back and change that later. But we want the length to basically store the message length in bits. So now let's go ahead and actually put this length value into our image data. And to do this, we're going to set the least significant bit of every byte in our image data to the corresponding bit in the, the data or the message that we're trying to encode. So we want to loop through our header size first, which I'm going to actually go ahead and define as 32. Uh, but just to be super extra clear here, we're going to set it to the size of our, our header value times 8. So we want to encode this length in our image data. And to do that, we need to first extract a bit from length and put it into the least significant bit of data. And to do that, we're going to grab the ith bit of data, and we're going to or equals with some value. Now, if you're curious about why I'm doing all these things, I don't, I'm not going to explain it too much. If you want to watch some supplemental information about steganography, check out the link in the description below. I'm going to link a computer file video all about this topic. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm taking the length and I'm shifting it over i bits so that I'm basically getting the ith bit of length. And then we're anding that with 1 to clear all of the upper bits so that we just have a 1 or a 0. And then what we do here is we now want to essentially invert this so that we're putting in the most significant bit first. Uh, this is going to make it easier to decode later, so we want to make sure we do this for both the length, which I'm going to start calling the header, as well as the message too. We're going to perform a similar operation. So now this is great and all, but if the data already had a 1 in its least significant bit, and we're trying to set it to a 0, this isn't going to work, so we're actually going to want to clear that, that least significant bit first by anding it with FE, which is just one byte, where everything is a 1 except for the least significant bit. Now we're also going to go ahead and print out the, the length here just for, for debugging for now. And we can go ahead and move on to pulling this length out of our image. So let's create that variable, start it off at 0. And we're going to do the same thing as up here where we loop through our header size. Now we don't want to do this, so we're going to take these out. We want to put our values into length. So we're going to say that length is equal to, and what do we want? We want the least significant bit of the ith byte of our image. Now that's great and all, but we need to make sure that we're moving these values into length. And remember, like I said before, we're putting the most significant bit first. So what we're going to do 
is we're going to slowly shift the bits upward through length. So we start with the most significant bit, and every time, every time we perform the OR operation, we also shift everything to the left one bit. That way we are just loading our value in one bit at a time. To make sure this works, we can go ahead and print out length. Now let's go ahead and set this up in main. We've already loaded our test image. So we're going to call our encode message function. We'll just encode this very short string right here. And then we will decode that message. We won't save the image quite yet. But normally you'd, you'd save the image, send it to your friend, and they would decode it. It would work similar or somewhat like that. So we're going to have a character array here as our buffer. And then we're also going to have a size variable that we will, uh, we will fill with this function right here. And then I did actually make a mistake. We've got to remove that star. And we'll actually initialize all of these elements to zero. That way, whatever string we get is already null terminated, and we can use printf to print it really easily. Uh, so this is the issue I was talking about before. We got a length of three. We just have to go ahead up to here and fix this so that this is an eight. And now we will get 24. Perfect. So one thing we also need to consider is we can actually remove these, these debug messages now. We want to consider uh, the case where our data doesn't fit inside of the image. So where the number of bits in our message, which is length, plus our header size, so the entire message, is greater than the size of our image. We're going to want to print an error out to the user. We'll, we'll let them know how many bits they tried to put in. And then we'll just return from the function. We won't proceed with any encoding. So now let's go ahead and actually start putting our message into our image. This is going to be very similar, except we're now going to have to take data plus our header size. Or data, sorry, uh, i plus our header size. And instead of pulling from one singular value, like length, we're now pulling the, the information out of an array. So to do this, we want to get the ith byte of message, which is going to be 8, or not the ith byte, I guess. 8 divided by i is going to get us the, the proper byte here from our, our message. And then what we want to do is we want to take the right bit from this byte. So to do that, we're going to shift over i modulo 8, which is going to give us the remainder. And then just like before, we are going to and this entire thing with 1 to clear all the upper bits. And if you remember, we also have to make sure that we are putting the most significant bit first. So to do that, we are going to change this so that it's not i modulo 8, but rather length minus 1 minus i. So there we go. We are now properly loading in our message. We can come on down here and now decode that message. Now one thing uh, we got to do is change that to length. And then we also want to change this to a uint32. That way, our messages can be longer than 256 characters here. Sorry, 255. And then, uh, then we can start putting our our data into this this buffer. So, let's first get uh, which which byte in the buffer we want to set. Do that again right here, and we want to, just like above, shift everything to the right every time, and then we want to get the least significant bit of our image data, just like that. But um, we don't want to take just buffer i, we want to divide that by 8, because uh, a length is in bits. And same for this message length right here. We want to return that message length in bytes, and I'm actually going to, we're going to print out our message after we decode it so we can see where we're at. You can see we have a little error here, just something, just a warning that we need to fix. Okay. Let's also print out the size that we, that we uh, get from our decode message. And then we can go ahead and run this. You can see we have our message with a size of 3 bytes which is just what we expected. So now it's time to make this a little bit more interesting here. We're going to try to save our image 
we'll call it secret message.png. And then we want something a little bit longer to really, really test out the functionality of this. So I'm going to put in five paragraphs of lorem ipsum. And the function name is actually write, not save. And then let's go ahead and run this. You can see we have a segmentation error here. And that's because our buffer is too small for the, the data that we're trying to read in. So here's the exact length of our data. Uh, normally you wouldn't know, so you just set a large number, but I didn't know in this case. So, And there we go. You can see we are putting our data into an image and then decoding it out of the image. And we've actually saved both images. So we can look at both of those and compare them. They look exactly the same, except on the right, the data is stored in the color values. And you can't tell the difference at all, which is super cool. Uh, you could use this if you want <laughs> between your friends, if you want to communicate secretly, send them images that have secret data in them, or who knows. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and hopefully we'll be coming out with some new videos very soon. Thank you.